What up, all my vending bro and bro at? This is technically a collection day because I'm collecting, but it's more of a maintenance check. And I'm going around and I'm starting to do maintenance, maintenance checks sooner. And I got to check out on all my machines. So it doesn't look good. I don't even know where to start. These levels are way too high. Way too high. I was wondering if these machines are better because it seems like they're sealed up, right? So there's less air getting in. And I, I believe that that may be retaining the candy better. I'm curious to know what's coming out of these machines. If you order something. You wanna see something that's not good? I come back. This thing's open. I didn't open it. Open. Completely open. So, I don't know if I have to change the lock. I wish I had the skills to take that off because I have a lock on me and I'd replace it, but I suck. So that means I'm going to have to take the whole thing away. I really don't want to do that, just change the lock. I wish I had the skill to do it, right? Can I come back with the skill to do it? Maybe. Let's we'll see what's coming out. The labels look good. These need stickers. Technically, I do have a sticker right here, but considering, I don't know, it I guess it would start matching. I need more of these. Only one comes with the box. I gotta order some, but they don't, I'd have to special order it. Anyways, let's find out what's coming out. What are you getting by putting in a quarter? See if it works. Okay. So the nice thing is, it's dispensing appropriately, right? We're getting six. Now remember, on peanut M&Ms, 12 piece is an ounce. So that's perfect. Is it consistent? It looks like it is. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. Right? So that's good. These M&Ms still look like they're in good condition. And it's still dispensing, right? The proper amount. So we're good. Gumballs. Do I have the right key? She came prepared. Survey says, yes. I'll step back in. Let's try the quarters. Gonna try it out. We got ourselves a gumball. We got ourselves two gumballs. Perfect. Okay, good. So the gumballs look good. The dispense looks good. It's accurate. Let's go ahead and try out the uh, the Skittles. 
Now remember, it's about 25 in an ounce, so we want about 12. And right now, it's looking like a lot more than that. How many Skittles do we have? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. Now, I gotta be honest with you, I, I think it is totally okay to be giving more, especially with how much candy I overflowed it with, right? And considering it has an expiration date and we want it to, to stay fresh. A couple last minute droppers, interesting. How many do we have here? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 11. Perfect, right? Grab a couple quarters. So the question is, has this thing been open and people just using these quarters to get candy? Have they known about it? I mean, the machines, this was over there, now it's over here. I'm sure people are aware if a back is open with quarters. I'm sure they, they're smart enough to know that if there was no quarters back there, then I would assume that there's a major issue, obviously, and I would do something about it. But if it was something in between, I would probably just let it slide. And so we gotta see, it's really hard to kind of determine, but we gotta figure out how much is back there first of all. Here's the good news is, you know, if we even, if we gave out 25, it's 18 cents a pull plus 20%, 20. So worst comes to worst, we're making two cents, but that's if we're dispensing 25, right? We got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15, right? Dispensing 15 is not the end of the world. Double that, that's that's 30. It's, it's five over, right? So maybe our average is uh, maybe 20 cents, and then you're looking at five cents, so 25 cents. So we're still making 25 cents on every two poles. And the nice thing is if it's going from 15 down to 10 or 11, um, then it'll average out somewhere around 12 or 13, which is totally acceptable. And like I said, this was one of my, you know, earlier machines and, you know, we gotta be smarter about the levels of candy that we put in here, right? So what do we have? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. So a double, that's 32, that would be about seven over. Not the end of the world. Uh, the nice thing is everything's dispensing accordingly. Like it's coming out consistently. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. Okay. This machine is working properly and the candy is still fresh. Every, the, the nice thing is, you know, Skittles, they seem very um, easy as far as not having any problems. Gumballs, I wasn't a fan at the beginning and I'm starting to become more of a fan. Peanut m ms I was a huge fan. Now I'm starting to question. Um, you know, these still feel really hard. So there's no like sun damage, which is nice, right? Okay, so 
Cool thing is we're, we're good on that aspect, okay? Now let's check out what's going on in the back. Cool, so candy's good, working good. That's what we want. The lock is working. Doesn't seem like it was tampered with. Let's turn this around. Let's see what we got going on over here. We do have, now remember, we do have to factor in that I just played how many quarters in here, you know? Uh, probably like, what was that? Maybe two on each, at least. So let's just go ahead and like take out at least a dollar fifty. Okay. Pocket that. And let's see what we're left with. I did bring the counter. This is a little bit heavier, which is nice. And there's a few extra. So let's go ahead and utilize the easiness, the convenience. Get the rest of these quarters out. Um, so, I mean, technically this could be appropriate. I mean, obviously we can't have this lock like that and we're gonna have to figure out a solution, which I just feel like is a new lock. Uh, we should test these things back here, make sure they don't, look at that. That is way too loose. That's coming all the way undone. And so is this one, but not as, that's kind of in there. This, no. So the good thing is I have tape. I feel like I should tape them up. Um, Cause that's what I did last time to, uh, you know, salvage the situation. So it's good that I'm prepared and that I have that in my car and, and that I'm checking that. Cause I feel like it's important cause we don't want candy to start falling out in the back. And I gotta be honest with you. I thought last time I was here, I thought I put tape on. Did I put tape on or did I just say I needed to tape it? Cause I remember I thought candy was spilling out. Uh, let's go ahead and zero this out. As much as we all want like a slow burn count. Uh, I'm a lefty holding the phone with his hand so It'd be a lot more fun if maybe I had someone with me, but you know, I'm a lone ranger. What can I say? Um, 23.75, um, not bad, but I'm not sure how long it's been since I've been back here, probably a couple months. Um, and that's okay, that's okay. Uh, we have two machines here, and so we have more to pick up from this, so. Keep in mind, this is a 20% location, so 20% of 2375. We're talking about 2.3, 2.3, that's 4.6. Rounded up, that's 4.75 that we're taking off the top. Dollar. 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 75. That leaves us with $19 in cells, right? If we take this off, and we put this on, and we're zero out again, Make sure we're paying them correctly, which should be 475. We got 475 from that machine going to the house. All right. What are we gonna do about this lock? Well, first of all, let's see what's going on. So that that's what's going on is it's not secure anymore. It's like someone popped it open, which I am more familiar about now. 
And um, look at that. So here's the thing. Here's the cool thing is when you start getting some experience and learning, there might be a solution before changing the entire law. Um, and the cool thing is, like I said, when you're prepared, you got stuff on you. It's this thing right here, right? I don't know. That's already pretty long. I don't know if I'm going to find... But what I'm saying is maybe I can get a new piece for this and see if that works. Right? Because what is go what what is going on with this lock when I'm when I'm turning? This is another reason why I'm becoming less of a fan of these machines. Okay, they make a another version, and they're not that much more. And the locks and the machine, when it comes to being airtight and key secure. And when you put the key in, the whole thing comes out. It's just just structured so much better that I'm telling you, I'm only gonna be buying the better structure, um, I think they're Rhinos, and, and these Vivers because of the air security and the lock security, right? The machine's just made better. Um, and here's the thing, you know, I've been using a ton of these, right? I've bought so many of these that the majority of my machines are these. And it's like, here I am, you know, with 30 machines now, and it's like, I'm finally realizing stuff like this. Um, you know, what's interesting is, is, look at this, this is like, it's not like turning all the way, right? turns all the way so I think we just need to work on this which I can't do when I'm videotaping uh, keep in mind I'm gonna do a part two right now after I tinker with this and we'll see what's going on with this machine how it's working and how much money is in there for for uh, coming up right now <clears throat> here we are in part two uh, good news is check this out Brand new. This thing is as tight as uh, it's supposed to be. You can't even finger it open. I fixed the lock because I was prepared with some tools and we're back in business. Let's take a look at what's going on here. Let's make sure it runs right. Now, I have the tongue in my car. The question is. I don't have the skill or the knowledge of the best way to put it back on. If I'm missing the bar that goes across the top, should I use some tape? Should I use some glue? <clears throat> Gumball down. Gumball down. I'm afraid to try that again. Gumball down. Gumball down. Sacrificial gumballs right there, dude. It's kind of a bummer, but that's okay. Obviously we have way too many in there. So the question is, what are we gonna do about that? I think the answer is simple. We take some out. What are we getting as for M&Ms? We are getting M&Ms. Uh, but we're not getting that many, right? I don't think we're getting enough M&Ms. Two, four, six, seven M&Ms, right? Um, I wonder <clears throat> on these machines if I can uh, change the dispense amount. I, I bet I can.
I like that it starts off on the cheaper side, you know, but obviously it needs to be proportioned correctly. It needs to be appropriate. Two, four, six, seven. I don't know, man. Seven M&Ms? I'm pretty sure the net weight is 32, and I'm pretty sure we should be getting twice that. We should be getting uh, around 16. So, I mean, to be fair, this needs to be adjusted. Two, four, six, seven. I mean, it is consistently accurate with what it's giving me. It's just not giving me enough. Let's keep track of how many quarters we're putting in. We lost two gumballs right here, specialty gumballs. That sucks. But that's okay. I guess the second time, you know, that's the price to pay when you're trying to finagle around and hold a cell phone up and be like a whole one-man band. Uh, two, four, six, seven, once again, totally consistent. Just not enough. Um, you know, I wonder if people put in the quarter, does it drop down to the spill tray? If there is, if that thing's not there, will it drop down to the spill tray? Gumball down, gumball down. So yeah, you know, people might be losing their gumballs because there's no, um, you know, cover right there. So it's actually a little bit more important than just aesthetics, right? I mean, maybe you put your hands there, I don't know. But look at that, we don't have to worry about it here. Works nice and perfectly. Now, on these Vivers, can I take these compartments out individually? Because if so, that would be a huge asset over these ones, which remember, only have a liner, a metal liner separating them, and I have to get them out by hand or bring them down below. Now, the nice thing is on the, uh, the other machines that I was talking about, you can take the compartment out. And I have a feeling I can take the compartment out. Look at that, okay? How awesome is that? How awesome is that? Now, obviously, you know, I may not wanna go double gumball on every machine, but look at that. I can dump this out, I can reset it so you get the proper amount of M&Ms if I have something to dump this in, which I do in my car, which is nice, right? Love the convenience. Now that I'm getting experience working, and whenever I come up with an issue, which you saw in last videos, dude, it, it is a hassle and a half, you know? It's like a nightmare. This, separate compartments, is huge, huge. So, I can pull this out, I can dump it out, I can tinker with it, and then dump it back in. That's great, right? What's going on in the backside? This, a little loose, but nothing tampered with, which is nice. And we can jump in here, and look at this, one spill tray, one, uh, one quarter tray, which is great, right? Once again, I just feel like <laughs> it's just so, it's just so much better, like, put together, right? The, the quality and the convenience is, is so worth on the other end. And this is just something that you don't realize when you get going, right? It's like, you know, I'm, I'm thinking I'm getting this cool, colorful machine for the right price, and really I'm just getting a headache, right? Especially when there's just better quality machines. I actually just ordered another Beaver last night because I was like, you know what? I'm, I need to just use these. And you know what? I, I need to start giving more credit to the gumballs because they look good, they last a long time, they dispense properly every time, you know? I have no issues with them. And instead of a second gumball, I could probably get away with doing a Starburst. So I could do a scar Starburst, a gumball, and a candy. And I can make this last so long and be so easy on me. And that's what I want. I want this whole process to be easy. I bet I could just find a way, maybe I switch, 
switch hands to my lefty. We got a nickel, we got a penny. If I, fight, if I find the right angle, All right, not, not bad, not bad, not a bad pour. And as you can see, we have $12. And uh, we're gonna minus out 20%, which is 120 plus 120, which is 240 rounded up. So we're at 250. Let's go ahead and pull that out. So we're pulling out 250. Leaving us with 9.50. I did kind of find a few extra quarters in the other machine uh, and on the ground next to it so that brings us up to uh, 10.75. So I think we were somewhere around what was it 17, 18, right 1750 plus 10.75, so we're just gonna say for this location, we're somewhere around 27, 28. We'll just call it 20, uh, 28. And once again, I'll, I'll have to uh, put in the note and on the title how long it's been, right? 28, great if it's a month or two, not so much if it's three or four months, right? 28 divided by four months, we're at 9, 18, 20, we're at 7, 14, 21, 28. So we're like $7 a month, we're at four months to give us kind of an idea. Um, but yeah, so if it's three months, you know, now we're 8, 16, 24, 9, 18, 27, we're at $9 at three months. What I say, $7 at four months. So we're somewhere within those. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and make sure we're giving the right amount. Two fifty over here. Perfect. Plus four seventy five. And the nice thing is, you know, they're getting paid in quarter, so let's hope that they just put it back into the machine, right? I mean, that's what we want. That's probably what they're gonna use it for. Um, 6.75, yeah, four, wait. 4.75 plus 2.50. Um, was it 4.75? She. Yeah, it was 2.3 plus 2.3, right? 4.6, 4.75. 4.5 plus 250. You're looking at 7, uh, 75. Right? 250, 250 plus 4.75. No, 4.75 plus 2.50 is 725 725 so that's going to the house um as far as this goes the question is do i need to get rid of some gumballs here get rid of some gumballs here i probably should and use them somewhere else and to go with the other ones that i've been saving up you know kind of and then right here i need to dump this out probably read tinker so i can give them out more candy each dispense and then fill this up less so that's next and then i'm out of here uh just to recap what's going on i um like i said i changed the lock in the back which is working great now uh i tested all of these they're all working great Candy looks good, machine wiped down, nice and clean, working properly, levels look good. And then over here, uh, I did change out the sticker. Uh, I reduced the amount of gumballs. I dumped all the M&Ms out. 
and then re-tinkered the inside, reconfigured, and now instead of getting about seven M&Ms, you're getting closer to 15 M&Ms. And then uh, reduce the amount of ice cream sundae gumballs, the level, by almost half, by almost half. Um, I still need a real sticker for this, which would look great. Uh, I wiped down the machine and it looks good. The only thing I haven't done is put the tongue on. I don't know if I want to just tape it on, which honestly kind of seems like not that bad of a idea. I think I'm going to do that right now, actually. Um, but as you can see, I mean, you can just tell, like, I've leveled up. I leveled up right now. I leveled up from the first time that I've been here and the second time that I checked on this. Um, the machines just, they look better. They feel better. They're more secure. Um, and I just feel better about everything. That's, uh, that's how everything is just working proper. I don't know if it's necessary to have two machines here. So if anything, you know, I might have a new location that I really want to put a Viver machine up. So I might take that up to that Z Pizza up in Santa Monica and just leave them with one. Um, I did get some really um, interesting news. Um, the guy that I have, the owner of this shop, that I also have that green machine at his other shop, uh, he told me that that location burned down and everything in it burned down. He just showed me the photos and he said the machine is dead. And if I want to go pick up like the base and then also there's like homeless grabbing the quarters out of it. So um, I was there recently, but yeah, I have some more things to do here and then I'm going to go over there. Let's see if I can tape this on for now.